From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Open Line. Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to News Channel 5 Plus, an open line tonight. Great topic tonight that I think we can just dive into and, and have some great questions and, and conversation about the real estate market here in Nashville. It is crazy right now, whether you're a buyer or a seller. Luckily, we have a professional in that I think a lot of you will recognize. Christy Wilson is here with us to talk about real estate and help us, help us sort it all out. It is tough out there. It is tough. It is tough. There's a lot of challenges and a lot of opportunities. Yeah, there are a lot of positive things going on, but some negatives depending on which side of the fence you're Absolutely. on. Absolutely. And I guess different negatives depending which side of the fence you're on. But luckily, we have you here to help us sort us all out and, and tell us, really give us a perspective of what is going on. And I want to, before we get too in-depth in this conversation, I want to invite you to go ahead and call in with any real estate questions you might have or any experiences that you want to share that you've had lately in the real estate market that maybe would enlighten some of our other viewers. So the numbers at the bottom of the screen, go ahead and give us a call. Christy will be happy to help you out. But let's start with, give me a snapshot, a snapshot of what it is for buyers out there right now. It is pretty frenetic and it's very competitive right now for a buyer. And if you're just about every price range under a million dollars is very, very competitive. That, I mean, that really is crazy. We're not under a million and you've got to go get it. And people are making the biggest investment of their life and having to make that decision in a matter of hours. In a matter of hours. And it, it's, it's mind boggling to me that we still do have inventory on the market. We're low in inventory, but if your home is priced right, in the market that you're in, it should sell quickly. Give me the perspective from the seller's point of view. It has to be a great seller's you know, market. You know, it's a great seller's market, but it's equally frustrating for the sellers really? because if they're staying in town and maybe they've they've had children and they want to upsize or they're wanting to downsize, they can't find what they want. Ah. So they've gotten their house all ready to sell, but they're nervous to put their house on the market because they haven't found something yet and they don't want to be homeless. In fact, you said you had what, like four sellers? I've got kind of four right, right now. now. You've mm -hmm. taken the pictures and everyone's just waiting. We're ready to go as soon as whatever they want comes on the market. And there's a lot of networking going on with realtors too within each other's markets. So if I know somebody wants, say, they want Bellevue, mm -hmm. um, I call my realtor friends in Bellevue talk around the office, y'all, if you have anything coming up with this, 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 we communicate all the time with each other. We, we have a, a very cool industry because we're competitors, but we're also each other's colleagues, and we're always trying to help each other out and, and help broker a deal. And that makes it sound like that there could be sales going on without even homes going on the market, well, really. a lot, a lot. Wow. And so we see the lack of inventory on Real Tracks, mm -hmm. which is the MLS in Middle Tennessee. However, good realtors are always networking with each yeah. other, both online and face-to-face, -face, talking about what they have, what they need, and, and doing, you know, I'm going to go preview one on Wednesday that's probably two weeks out from being on the market, and I've got a buyer for it, and I'm oh, hoping, <laughs> hoping, <laughs> hoping that, that it, it might be because they've looked at everything that's available. Since it is a seller's market, what are you telling sellers? Does their home have to be in tip-top shape with all the bells and whistles, or can people kind of like slide by right now and still get a great price? Great question. It depends on your neighborhood. Okay. Like I'm going to say Lachlan Springs mm -hmm. in East Nashville. That neighborhood is so hot. It's been hot for 15 years. I mean, it's just a very, very hot pocket of East Nashville. If you want to get top dollar, your house needs to be in tip top shape. If you just want to sell it fast, price it for condition. Mm. And I mean, if you don't want to do anything right. you need to get out, just price it for condition and it will still sell fast. In, in any neighborhood, really, it, you've got to, there's three things that make a sale. Price, condition, location. You can't change your location. Right. And you, you told me your mom and sister yeah. real estate. You probably heard this your yes, whole life. Location, yeah, location, location, location. location. <laughs> but price and condition play a huge yes. part in that too. You yeah. can't just bank on location. You have to, you can control two things, and that's your price and condition. So if you want a higher price, improve your condition. And if you don't want to improve your condition, you may get a lower price. Of course, we've been talking about the real estate side of things and what's going on out there on the news side because it is impacting yeah. people's lives. And I just want to give you a little um, backstory. Story, I guess on where we are what's happening out there then we'll jump back to Christy here so take a look at a story that Jason Lamb did just last week I, I'm just happy to be a realtor in Nashville more than ever before the housing market in Nashville is the textbook definition of a seller's market that someone prices their house competitively and you have five offers 
10 offers. One of my agents just had 19. According to the Greater Nashville Association of Realtors, home sales increased more than 11% in April compared to one year earlier. At the same time, the median sale price in Nashville has crossed over $250,000. All the while, realtors say with such high demand, even at those prices, buyers have next to no time at all to make a decision. Right now, the time frame a buyer has to think about it is you know, hours. You walk through and you're like, let's do it. And it's hours. And then it all leads to the question on everyone's mind. Is Nashville in a housing bubble? Is something going to pop? And I thought this year would be the year we started seeing it stabilize a little bit, but it's still sustaining the values continue to go up. So this house has been on the market 21 days. Christy Wilson and with the Wilson Albrecht. Group says even though prices continue to go up. So you've got entry foyer. She says they're not going up recklessly. So you've got the stainless steel appliances. Or faster than many other markets. All the appliances stay. Yep. Still, home buyers say the results of all this can be frustrating. You know, five years ago, we had a list of properties. We looked them over, found one we liked, got to take a second look at it, got to think about it, and um, this time it's not like that. And then a large walk-in closet, too. So the best advice realtors say, be prepared for whatever could be ahead in this second housing year. market. For stuff. And this is what I thought you'd really like. That's a great piece there. I do want to talk about this bubble a yeah, little bit more. Sure. Because it is really terrifying after what we've been through with the housing industry in that, you know, a couple of years, what was it, eight, eight seven, eight, nine, right. you know, where things were just, everything went down right. and crashed right. in the housing market. And people are kind of holding their breath this time around. So let's talk about, what is your take on it? Sure. I. I think we are in somewhat of a bubble. However, I think it's a different type of bubble that we were in in 2006, 7, 8. Mm -hmm. We don't we do not have the mortgage issues mm. that we have today. I mean that we had last what, right 10 years ago. Back then they were making those crazy mortgages. Everybody was doing it 100% financing, 110% yes. financing. Now most people do have skin in the game in their own home. So if the market does, I mean, historically real estate has always done this. Right. We just haven't seen that and that like yes. we had in 2007, 2008, or really 2008 to 2011. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, I mean, how long can you sustain these prices? I feel like we're at least going to sustain another year. Um, I thought we might be slowing down this year. It hasn't. No, there there not is at all. no stopping. And when I say sustain, I just I just don't think we're going to keep going up. We uh, appreciated 11 percent last month, and so um, normal historical appreciation is about three to five percent a year. So getting to that point will be a very very healthy market. So to people watching this, saying, you know, I would like to move up or downsize at this point. I'd like to make a move. Right. They're saying, I just don't know if I want to do it right now or just wait and see where this goes. Right. What is your advice? Well, I say do it now. I, I just don't think we're going to go down significantly. I think we will start stabilizing mm -hmm. at some point and then just normalize. If we do go down, it's going to be, somebody asked me that one time, I said, we're not going to, I don't think, I don't see a pop. Mm -hmm. And I'm not an economist sure. either. I'm just going off of experience and going through these before. I don't think we'll pop. I think there may be a, a slight deflate of the market. Um, and certain markets will be hit differently. Nashville is full of micro markets. I mean, just in yes. Green Hills, yes. you have one zip code, 37215, and there are so many little micro markets within, so you can't even look at a zip code mm. and say what a zip code's gonna do. What are the hot areas around Middle Tennessee right now? Everywhere. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> North Nashville's hot, South Nashville's hot. Um, the urban core, of course, is, is on fire. The Gulch, um, 12 South, Belmont, Green Hills, Sylvan Park, East Nashville, just very hot. But truly, the next tier out, the Hermitage, Bellevue, Donaldson, um, Creve Hall is extremely hot. Mm -hmm. And then you get out into the outlying counties. and. Mount Juliet's on fire, yes. Hendersonville, Henderson, well all these markets are just like we're talking about. We have sellers ready to go to put their house yeah. on the market and uh, they can't find what they're looking for right now. And that's what I want to talk about is the dance between you have a home that you need to sell right, and you want to go into a home. Sure. How do you manage that, that kind of dance between you want to put your home on the market but it could be gone, you could have a contract on it within hours and you don't have a guarantee that there's going to be a home out there that you want. So what are you telling people That's to right. do then? Actually, they have several options. The first option is if you want to do that, we can go ahead and sell your home 
and move you into temporary housing, mm -hmm. okay? Because there are month-to-month -month apartments that people can move into, and that way when they go into a, uh, when something comes on the market, they have no home sale contingency. Which is very attractive. Which is very attractive to the seller that they mm -hmm. are going to buy from. Or we can go in and push a closing date out far enough to give them time to sell their home. If if it's in certain neighborhoods and your sellers are listening to you and let you price it right, not underprice it. Right. And that's another point. You really can't underprice a house right now. There's enough activity that if you price it right and it sells for more than asking, it wasn't underpricing. It was that the market spoke oh. to what the price should be. Okay. Uh, but you can sure overprice it. Yeah. If you're seeing a listing languish out there right now, it's typically a pricing issue. Hmm. Um, but back to our, our similar, yeah. so you can push the closing date out far enough where hopefully they have that, they have time. that time to sell um, or talk to their lender, sit down with them and their lender and see if they can do alternative financing in between. It's called a bridge loan mm -hmm. where they basically take an equity line on their current home to act as the down payment on the new home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So much more to talk uh, about. And I hope that we have your questions and calls too to, uh, to get to. So if you're thinking about something at home, go ahead and give us a call. We'll get it lined up during the break. Stay with us. Open Line continues next.